Welcome to the English Rhapsody Grammar Time video. To get the most out of Grammar Time content, first after watching the video carefully. We recommend watching it a second time and taking notes. We do not recommend that you ever memorize the content in our videos. We suggest you watch and understand. Today's topic is imperatives. Let's get started. Imperatives are used to give commands or to make requests. They can also be used to give warnings or directions. Stop! An exclamation mark is used if the imperative is urgent and the base form of the verb to stop. Further examples. Get up. Eat your breakfast. Be careful. Help. Give that to me. Read this book. Negative imperatives. Do not or don't can be added before the verb to make an imperative negative. Do not turn right. Don't turn right. Further examples. Don't eat that cake. Don't rush. I am not in a hurry. I've just painted that door. Don't touch it. Don't sit there. That chair is broken. Subjects with imperatives. An imperative sentence does not usually have a subject, but sometimes a noun or a pronoun is used to make it clear who is being talked to. Everybody sit down. Further examples. Philip come here. You stay there. For emphasis, you can be used in an imperative clause. Someone open the window. Have fun, and The subject can also be placed at the end. Polite requests. Imperatives in English can be considered rude. Words can be added to make them more polite. Please close the door. Please can be placed before the imperative verb to make a request more polite. Just give me a minute, please. Just can go before the imperative. Please can also be placed at the end of the sentence. Do come in. Do can go before the imperative verb to make a request more formal. Making suggestions with let's let's can be used to make a suggestion for an activity that includes the speaker. It's sunny today. Let's go out. Base form. It's cold. Let's not go out. Not goes after let's to form the negative. 